Hey guys, what's up? It is Dalton here, and welcome to Video Game Finds number 80. And now, you're really noticing right now is the new background, like I told you guys you'd get that. So here it is. It's definitely changed and rearranged since uh, the last time you saw it. Um, the reason I'm you know, allowing it now is because the uh, Video Game Room Tour is now on the channel. Uh, so if you guys have not checked that out, I strongly recommend you do so. Um, there was a lot of effort and time put into that. Um, I know it's a very long video, but it was definitely, you know, well worth making, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's really an awesome thing for me to uh, do that, and Tyler helped out very much as well. And uh, it's just a really cool thing, because I don't do that often. Uh, it's been two years since I made one before, so that's why it was really cool to make that one. And um, so after today, uh, there will be more videos coming up throughout this week. It'll be of the video game collection videos. Uh, which means like you get to see in depth each you know game console that we collect for every single game everything like that so you guys will see that throughout this coming week so that'll be uh, to be expected in this next few days and everything you'll see the videos coming out um, through for those so anyways without further ado let's go ahead now and get started with the video game pickups video here um, we're gonna go ahead and start off with stuff that I picked up a while ago and then we'll move into the stuff that was just recently picked up so here we go this first couple of games here, uh, these were both in a one single lot on eBay, uh, which was uh, about three weeks ago, I'd say, which is a pretty long time if you think about it. I usually don't try hanging on to games like that anymore. I like to get them into videos. Uh, but since I was trying to space out my videos and not make them too long, that is why I have held these ones off. Uh, very, very random price. It was definitely a unique one. Uh, $35.50 was a buy it now, which was interesting. Uh, but free shipping, it was really good. Uh, these games are definitely worth that price for sure, and I was really happy to get these. One of them I don't have, the other one I will use as an upgrade for the one I currently own, and then sell off mine. So, the first one here, the one I do not own, which is really, really cool, I came across the Player's Choice of this a few weeks ago, and I uh, didn't want to keep it because I don't collect Player's Choice, uh, but I finally have a complete Black Label version, and that is Animal Crossing on Nintendo GameCube, which is very, very cool. And uh, it is complete, 100%. It even has the original manual, uh, the manual and the memory card and the disc and everything. Uh, it even has the uh, extra, you know, inserts and, you know, cards and everything that's supposed to come with. Uh, very crispy shape for sure. It's really, really cool. Uh, the case is very nice. The uh, insert's very nice. Uh, manuals are great. The disc looks amazing. So very, very cool. And the same thing goes for this one, very crispy shape as well, and that's why I'm going to be upgrading my copy for it, and that is Mario Party 5, which is very, very cool, definitely an awesome game, very fun games, I love Mario Party, so that's very, very cool, um, but very nice shape as well, complete 100%, very nice disc, so for $35.50, I was not going to complain for those two games, that's definitely awesome, so very cool. Alright, so now we'll move into within this week, or last couple weeks, this next stack here I'm going to show you, uh, Tyler and I picked up uh, the uh, weekend, I think it was, before we went on our camping trip. So these were sitting around for a little while as well, but they are a little more recent, so uh, we'll go ahead and move into those. Uh, but for $28, bucks, um, I know it's getting ridiculous, our local Goodwill has gone up in price. Uh, it's not our local one, we have two around us. There's one that's a little bit farther away, and then we have one that's like, you know, a couple blocks away or whatever it is from us. Uh, this one's the one that we, you know, takes like 15 minutes to drive to. Um, their prices have gotten pretty ridiculous in the last few months, uh, which really sucks because it's, you know, a bummer when you see games in there, but you just don't want to pay for them if they're too much. Um, I mean, depending on what it is, you know, if it's like a $10 game, do you really want to put out the $4 for it? Um, which is what these are now. They're like 4 bucks each, which is really stupid. Uh, their DVDs are 4 bucks each and stuff like that. It's just not a good tactic because there's a lot of places around here that sell DVDs for like, two dollars each or ten for ten stuff like that so goodwill i don't know what you're doing but it's not a great thing um, but anyways i still managed to pull out some good things here for twenty eight bucks um, which is still a cool deal so i'll go ahead and get into them first one here i don't mainly collect for this uh... genre of gaming um, but it's still cool to come across this kind of stuff every once in a while if it's you know a unique piece i'll definitely pick it up it's for pc i usually don't play a whole lot of pc games or anything uh, but i thought this was definitely cool and I uh, haven't seen, have not seen it before, but it counted as the uh, CD category, so it was only two bucks, which is really cool. And that is uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the PC here, which is really really cool. It is complete. It does have the uh, little map and po the little map poster and everything in it, which is really really cool. Uh, I definitely thought that was a cool piece to find. I've never seen it on PC before, so I thought that was really really cool. Um, definitely an awesome find there. So cool. 
All right, and then the rest of these were four bucks each, which is a decent deal. Um, there were some many games that I had to leave because it just was not worth it to me for you know four bucks each. It just didn't seem you know ethical enough for me to do that, so that's why I left some of them. But a lot of these are really well worth four dollars. So, anyways, this one here is the only Wii game that we got out of it, but it's uh, really cool. It's a Nintendo Selects, but it's you know a variant that I've been looking for, and that is Punch Out, which is really really cool. Definitely an awesome game to find. Um, this one is complete, which is really nice. The disc looks pretty good. The manual's really nice. It's only got a small punch, like an actual punch, in the uh, front of the case here. It's got like a little crease right here, uh, but it's not that big a deal. Um, it's, you know, just a little bit of a push in. I honestly think it's probably from the store shelf, like Walmart or something, where they have the you know, metal arm that pushes all the games in the rack. I think that was one of the cases there uh, that did that. It's just, you know, an un uh, and it's just really bad. It just unfortunate is what I was looking for, is the word that I was looking for. It's unfortunate that that happened. Um, I don't know, maybe it could be a Goodwill thing, something landed on it. I don't, I'm not positive, but it's still a really good game for four bucks. I cannot complain at all, so very cool. Alright, next one here. I believe this is the, uh, yeah, the only PS2 game we picked up there. Um, I believe I already have this one, but the case and everything's in really nice shape, and I thought it was a really good one to get, and that is uh, Burnout 3 Takedown. Uh, that was four bucks as well, but again, not too bad of a price for it. It's really cool. It's complete and everything. Very nice shape. Uh, definitely really cool to find that, so that was awesome. All right, and the rest of these, there's four Xbox games, so very cool. Um, this one is really, really cool. This was a double pack, and it was still counted as uh, one single item, uh, which, you know, thankfully, because I, I was expecting them to be like, oh, four bucks a game inside the case. It's kind of, it'd be a stupid thing, but I, I could see them doing it, but, you know, they didn't, and I'm glad they didn't. Uh, but anyways, that is the Grand Theft Auto double pack with uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City on Xbox, which is really, really cool. Um, I've been playing Vice City a lot from it. Um, just because it's graphically enhanced and it runs smoother on Xbox than PS2, which is a really cool thing. I definitely thought that was an awesome uh, upgrade for me. I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to keep this yet or not, um, just because this one is a little rough. Um, I'm trying to find the single games more than anything right now, um, but you know it's still really, really cool. It's really awesome uh, double pack. I thought that was really cool. Uh, the discs are pretty good. There's a couple of minor scratches here and there, but again, very, very cool. So... Anyways, next one here, I thought this was a really awesome find as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to come with a cardboard slipcover. I'm pretty certain it is, um, but I'm not positive. But anyway, that is uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition, which is really, really cool. Definitely in really nice shape for sure. Um, it's got both discs, which is really, really cool, and the manual. Um, very crispy shape for sure. That's an awesome one to find. Uh, you hardly ever see the Black Edition one. I would love to find that on PS2. I know that one's pretty hard to find, but... Um, for Xbox, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same way for the, you know, special edition like that, but very, very cool to find that. It's awesome. All right, and then this next one here, very, very cool. It's, uh, Psychonauts, which is really cool. Definitely an awesome find for four bucks. Also complete and very, very crispy shape as well. Um, I have never played anything, you know, of this caliber before, I don't think. Um, I've heard some reviews on it, but I'm not really sure you know, how to describe the gameplay. I've never played anything like it before, so um, I don't know. I might give it a try. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I have the Xbox and everything, so, you know, you never know. That's really cool, though. It looks really cool. Um, and then the last one here, I already have, like, three of these, but it was worth it to just pick up another one. Uh, they sell pretty, you know, easily. They're not, you know, a very hard-to-sell game. It's a pack-in game, basically. It's like a Mario Duck Hunt for a Nintendo. Uh, but that is the uh, Sega GT 2002 in the Jet Set Radio Future. Uh, double pack here for Xbox, which is really really cool. This one is very crispy as well It's got both manuals and the double disc in there, which is really really cool uh, Definitely a really cool find to find a really nice shape one. That's really cool. So anyway, so 28 bucks for those games It's not a bad deal um, But you know, I do miss the days where they were like two dollars each and stuff uh, It just does not happen as much from that goodwill anymore, which really sucks But it's not the end of the world at least I can still find some stuff that trickles through every now and then so very cool all right, now we'll get into the stuff that was all found during this week, which is really cool. All right, so first starting off, we'll go to Monday. This is the stuff that I found on Monday. Uh, I was just out and about, and I decided to, you know, stop at a couple of local places. I'm glad I did. Uh, the first place I stopped by was uh, Arc Thrift Store, which is a little chain of uh, thrift stores that we have around here. It's like a Goodwill and Salvation Army, stuff like that. Very similar. Um, I was digging through their box of cords, and I found a really cool piece, and that is the uh, Game Boy Advance SP Charger here. Uh, very nice shape, works very nicely. Um, definitely a really cool piece to find. 
and it was uh, 99 cents. So very, very cool. I definitely like getting extras of those. They're very nice to get. Um, very, very cool. Um, actually, this actually it looks more of like a uh, DS uh, charger um, because it's more rounded. I know the SP ones are a little bigger, so um, the reason I said you know SP is because they're uh, you know basically they work the same way. But actually now looking at, it, I think that's for DS, but still works. So very cool. Definitely an awesome piece. Anyway, either way, so very cool. All right, and then I went to our local Goodwill, the one that, you know, is closer to us. So not the one that, you know, I got the $28 stack of games, but uh, the more closer one. And um, very, very cool. I saw this in the back shelf by all their electronics. It was a Ziploc bag full of this stuff, and it had a $3.99 uh, $3 on it, you know, the sticker. It was a $3.99. Um, so very, very cool. Definitely worth it for sure. Um, I thought this was awesome. I definitely have a couple. Of, I don't have a couple of these pieces, and I definitely do now, which is cool. Uh, first, we've got here uh, the power cord and AV cords for a PS3. And why I'm specific with PS3 is I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, we have here the uh, camera for a PS3, which is really really cool. Very very nice shape. The lens is not scratched or anything, which is really cool. Um, definitely very cool. Um, piece to have for the collection. That's cool. And then the last one here is the PlayStation Move controller. Um, looks brand new, maybe used a couple times, um, but it has the wrist strap and everything on it. Um, very, very clean shape. Um, it looks almost brand new, which is incredible. Um, for all four of those items for four dollars, it's incredible. And I mean, this alone's worth at least like ten bucks or so. So very, very, very cool. I'm just like. I was kind of blown away by that because I usually that kind of stuff there, you know, they think it's gold and they'll put it in the front case or whatever. Uh, but they just had all four of those items in one little plastic bag and uh, on the back shelf for four bucks. I thought that was incredible. Uh, so very, very cool. I was really happy to see that stuff. So anyways, now we'll move on to Friday. This stuff was found on Friday, which is really cool. Uh, we were just in there once more. I was actually looking, well, I was helping Tyler, we were looking for some uh, golf clubs because we're going to try and go play in some golf on Tuesday. Um, we hardly get to do it, and I, it's a really fun thing to do. I know a lot of people kind of, you know, look at golf as like a boring thing to do, but it's actually not. It's actually a pretty fun thing to do. Um, so we're trying to, you know, we were looking around at Goodwill and stuff, and I actually did find them in a really nice full set and a golf bag for like 15 bucks, which was incredible. Um, but anyways, we were looking for games as we were going around too, because, you know, why not? We're in the same places that we look for that kind of stuff. So anyways, we went back to the Goodwill again, and I found three things here, which is really cool. Uh, first thing we have here is an 8 MB memory card for PS2. It's the official Sony brand. It's got a little bit of uh, carving into the uh, plastic, uh, but it's not that big a deal. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but I always pick up the uh, Sony branded ones of these if I can, especially if they're a good price. And that was 99 cents. That was really cool. And then the next one here is a Game Boy Advance games. Uh, one game, excuse me, not games. Uh, but it is Beyblade V-Force, and it's in very, very nice shape. Um, not worth a whole lot. It's about a 4 or $5 game. Um, not spectacular or anything, but that's still pretty good. And that was $1.99, so not bad. Very, very cool. I didn't have it, so why not? And then the last one here, this was really cool. Um, I had not seen this in a thrift store in a long time or anything like it, which was you know, pretty shocking as a surprise to me when I saw this. I'm very, very glad I found it. Um, I paid a little bit for it, but you know, it's worth doing that, especially when you don't come across it every day. And that is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on N64. Um, very good. Uh, shape, I guess you could say. It's a little bit worn on the label, but it's not bad. This thing was covered in dirt and stuff when I got it, and I cleaned it up nicely since. Um, it worked first try, which was really cool. Um, definitely well, you know, game to, you know, have working first try like that, because sometimes um, if you don't get a game working very well, it's not worth, you know, selling as well, because people want to buy it and they want to play it, you know, they don't want to fidget with it all the time, so I was really excited to see this working first try. Uh, but it was $12.99, which, you know, that's a little high from a Goodwill for a game. So they had an idea of what it was, um, but it's still worth more than that. So that's why I decided to pick it up. Um, but it's probably about a $20, $25 game, you know, right now. Around Christmas in a couple months or so, it'll be worth a little more. So I'm not sure if I'm going to list it now or wait till Christmas. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but definitely really cool uh, to pick up and recoup some of the money on the stuff I will keep. So... Anyways, very, very cool. Definitely an awesome piece to find from a Goodwill. You don't see that all the time, so that's why it was exciting. All right, and the last stack of stuff here, this was found yesterday on Saturday. Um, very, very cool stack here. Um, and I will go ahead and show you what I have here. 
But first we have a power cord to a PS2, which is very cool. And then we have here two fat PS2 consoles here, which is really, really cool. Um, definitely don't see these, you know, both at the same time all the time like that. That is definitely really, really cool. Um, first one here is, you know, in pretty good shape. Uh, it's got that one mark on the top there, but um, it's not too bad. Um, it is missing the uh, Sony logo on the front there, which I have never seen before. The whole you know thing came off, um, so that's interesting, but not that bad, I guess you could say. It's in pretty good shape otherwise. Um, the disk drive was stuck on this, so I had to take it apart and uh, fiddle with that for a while. I had never taken a PS2 apart before, um, so that was a pretty good experience. Um, it didn't seem too bad. Um, but I completely realigned the track and it works perfectly fine now, so that was really cool. You get that really cool feeling when you figure something out and you fix it and it makes it work better. You have that, you know, awe moment. It's like really cool. Um, so I was really happy to get this to work again. That was really cool. Um, but it works very well, so that's awesome. And then the other one here, which happens to be, you know, the one that's missing the uh, front tray here, the cover. It's not too big a deal, it's just not physically appeal appealing as much to most people, but this one still works great as well. Um, definitely really, really cool. Um, I thought that was awesome to find two at once. I mean, this one works very well. There's no disk drive problems or anything. Uh, laser works great. Um, but the uh, this is the one that came with the uh, power cord. Uh, the other one didn't have one. Um, but I have plenty of extra cords and controllers, so that's no problem at all. And um, then there was one game that came inside one of the PS2s. And real quick, guys, we're going to you know do this. This is something new that I wanted to do before. Uh, I've never had a console. You know, I've never been able to find a console before that I was able to film and do this. Um, but from now on, starting now, you know, after today with this video, if I have a fat PS2, a Wii, an original Xbox, or a 360, or a PS3, Stuff like that, consoles you can't manual open, you have to power on and stuff and do it yourself. I'm going to try and film it, and I'm going to open it like, and see if there's a, a bonus game inside. That's what I was trying to focus on and do. Um, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on now. So that's what you guys are going to go ahead and see right now. Uh, you'll see me opening one of these PS2s, and you'll see a bonus game inside. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to that part of the video right now. Alright guys, so here is one of the PS2's from Goodwill. This is the one that's not missing the front face plate to the disk drive. Um, so we'll go ahead and see if it powers on. It does. Alright, so since we got some good power we can go ahead and see if there's a game inside. And there is, which is really really cool. Got a uh, Star Wars Battlefront, which is really nice. Um, Disc looks really, really good. That is very, very cool. Um, that is probably one of the first times I've actually gotten a really good game inside a PS2. So, very, very cool to get a Star Wars Battlefront. That's definitely awesome. Alright, so, very cool. We'll kick it back to the regular part of the video now. Okay, guys, so now after seeing that, um, you saw what the game is, but here it is. That is uh, Star Wars Battlefront, which is really, really cool. That was definitely an awesome bonus game to be inside of that PS2. I definitely thought, you know, when I opened that, when it was coming out, I thought it was really cool. Um, the reason I like doing those videos and starting to do that is you get to capture, you know, a moment just like I will. You're seeing it firsthand for the first time just like I am. Um, you know, so there's no pre-opening or anything. I hadn't even cleaned the console yet or anything. Uh, so it's, you know, just like a, right when I got home and, you know, tested it and everything right there you got to see the whole thing so um, that was definitely really cool I know I didn't seem as excited but you know really I was on the inside just didn't really you know express it in my vote my um, voice or anything so uh, but believe me I was excited to see that because you don't see those kind of games usually it's like a sports game or something and nothing always that spectacular so that was really cool to find that in there so very very cool alright so one last announcement guys before we go ahead and close off um, Right now, really cool, just recently, a really good buddy of Tyler and I on YouTube, his name is Nintendo13 here on YouTube, uh, he just recently hit over 100 subscribers on his channel, uh, which is a really, really cool accomplishment. It's very good. Uh, it's very hard to do on a, you know, a smaller channel when you're trying to grow. I Believe me, I know from experience. Um, it's really hard to you know, start up and you know, get recognized and people you know, recognize you and see that you're doing the hard work and everything. So uh, that's a very awesome accomplishment, man. Um, so the reason I am giving that out to him 
and you know explain to you guys so you guys can go check him out. Uh, I strongly recommend you check his channel out, guys. He is awesome content. He uh, puts a lot of work into his you know effort and in putting into his videos and showing you guys all the stuff uh, that he finds in his uh, local Goodwills and garage sales and things like that. Um, he has really awesome stuff every week, and it's just awesome to see his stuff. So if you guys could, you go, go ahead and definitely check out his channel. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below or on the front if you guys are, you know, not using a touch screen device, you know, it'll be, you know, a clickable box as well. Uh, but if you guys are using a tablet or a phone or something, there will be a link in the description as well. So you guys can definitely go check out his channel. Um, he's an awesome dude, so definitely check him out, guys. So... Anyways, now we'll go ahead and do it. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, telling your friends. Uh, it really helps Tyler and I out. We really love seeing you guys coming back with the positive feedback and the comments and everything. It's awesome. It's an amazing thing for you guys to come back for us. It's just, I love the idea of how we have started like a little community and it's just awesome to be a part of it and just seeing all the positive responses and everything. Uh, I just can't thank you guys enough. Um, it's a really awesome journey. Um, we're going to have another video next week. For sure. We went to the big outdoor flea market just yesterday. Um, I didn't want to show that stuff because I didn't want the videos being too long. So we'll show all that stuff next weekend. That is a promise. You guys will see a bunch of cool stuff there as well. Um, it was our last trip for the season. So that is going to conclude all the you know summer stuff really. Um, and I have one week left. So does Tyler. And then we start back in school. Um, that's where it starts slowing down a little bit. But believe me, we'll still try to go out on weekends and get stuff. Um, it's just going to be a little bit tougher just because, you know, school kind of, you know, slows that down a little bit. But, you know, education is key. So, anyways, thank you guys a lot. Happy gaming. Games are still out there. You know, thrift stores and everything are still carrying that stuff. I mean, until one day they just figure out, hey, we'll just put all this stuff online. Hopefully that never happens. But, you know, we're aiming that way with a lot of the retro stuff, which sucks. But, anyway, thank you guys a lot again. Happy gaming as always. And I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.